Okay, friends, I have my May 2023 Counterfeit Kit Challenge kit. Now, this month's kit was based on a uh, not just for boys kit called Noteworthy Limitless Kit. Um, and to me, when I first saw the image, I saw peach and I saw yellow and I saw green. Um, those were the primary colors that, that jumped out at me. So that's where I ran with it when I saw the collection as a whole with some of the papers and then the embellishments. And then uh, on the Counterfeit Kit Challenge blog, if you look through there, they pulled all the pictures from the website and put them there. There's also a link to the Not Just For Boys Kit Club where you can see that kit on their website. I don't know if they have inspiration or not. I didn't go over there to see. Anywho, as you scroll down, there's papers on there and they show you, and it almost has uh, a gray and a dark blue component as well that could pull off as black, as you'll see a little bit of a hint here. Um, and then the greens are still prevalent. The peachy color, the peachy orangey color, not so much on the back side of the papers. On the B sides, did you see that uh, gold or neutral or yellow tone come through? But you did get a piece of barn gray barnwood very weathered wood uh, looking paper with more of a gray tone um, and then when you got a close-up of all the papers uh, on the a sides then you saw some of the different color schemes there but still the same so i went through and i pulled i found a paper kit in my collection it is from uh, die cut with a view and it is called peachy evergreen and to me if you look at this and then you look at the photo on the counterfeit kit challenge blog um, holy smokes to me it just felt the same the tones are not exact it's still green and gold and peach or yellow beigey tones even leaning towards orange full-on orange if you will and then you've got the green tones you've got a darker and a lighter component of greens then you've got this dark background not completely black but maybe a charcoal black instead um, so you've got those components there that's what drew my eye in and then there were a few other things when I, I looked through that kit online, or sorry, on the Counterfeit Kit Challenge blog. Um, some of the things from the embellishment kits, there was, it looks like the embellishment that, kit that came with and then an additional one, like a mixed media one that you can add on. So what I did, you guys know, once I have my paper, then I go through and I select all of my embellishments. And I'm just going to leave this paper right now in the background, and I'll show you at the very end all the different papers, but I'm going to go through the embellishments first. Okay, so if you got the vibes of the paper, then you know where I'm going with the rest of the kit. I pull those same color families in as best I can from my stash, from all the eclectic things in my stash that are not in kits themselves. If it's out of a kit um, and just in my general stash, that's where I pull from. Anywho, here is the paper pad in person. Um, there are 48 sheets total. I don't know that I had. There were some of them that were doubles that I pulled out, I think, for my sister. Um, and I kept some of the original ones or gave her some of the original ones, just depending on where they fell when I was pulling the the um, paper stack apart. Anywho, so two, four, six, eight, <laughs> ten, eleven back here, ten in the front. So that gives me 21 pattern papers to work with, and then um, three cut aparts as well. Yeah, so I'm going to cut all of these cut aparts apart so I'll have them ready to go at any given moment. Okay, I just wanted to move those around so you got a little bit of seeing everything and I put this one here on the front because I need the space to show you things that have color that maybe don't look as saturated to you. So initially I went into my color bins and I, I've shown them before on like a room tour. They're just full of anything and everything. So um, from my color bins I pulled in this uh, phrase from <laughs> my mind's eye laundry line from 2008 y'all i'm telling you the tones are not exact but they match this is something that i created um at my very first stampin not stampin up 
close to my heart party that I had in my home. Anywho, we made this. This is from the 49 and Market East. These are called uh, Vintage Bits from the Essential Film Strips in Sage in shades of green. I pulled those in. Those are not that old. I think I bought them last summer. This Brothers title, I love it has that little bit of tone of blue, but not so much that you, it pulls it out significantly. So if I use this with maybe these darker tones in the collection, I could probably get away with it. This is from Wild Asparagus, My Mind's Eye, 2008. And I'm sure it's lived in my collection since then because I love anything my mind's eye anywho this is a little cut apart from something maybe an amy tangerine line i don't know i don't remember where maybe an l studio collection i don't know um <laughs> anywho so i have this it was in that color bin and you can see these tones are there but they're not dead on if you look at them individually Anyway, I found this vellum strip. I thought it might be fun to try and use that somehow this go around. This one as well. The heart that loves is always young. How sweet is that? And then I even found, do you remember when we could buy the paper? <laughs> what we thought was paper, it really wasn't. It was like, uh, this is like burlap, right? It's fabric and you can use it in your scrapbooks. And we used it a little bit more. It's probably closer to maybe... I don't know, seven or eight years ago. It was pretty common to use it and I still had some left over so I'm pulling it in as well. Uh, I went through my bling drawer and I found some green bitty blings and then in my washi tape I found three different shades of green in different design. This one has the little tree look. I don't know if you'll be able to see it so well. There you go. The little tree look and it matches this paper here not only with the trees or the tree shape but in the tones that are in the collection as well that I'm pulling together so all of that is green embellishments if you will let me move all of that over some then I went through uh, peach or my orange color bin and first off straight away I know I had uh, a couple of packages of bling um, flatback pearls and bitty blings to go with this color but I thought this one was dead on it's the only one that I have in this color in this yeah in the in the peachy um, color tones that's even remotely dark my other ones are fairly light anywho this one had a nice color and it's called metallic auburn pearl how fun is that that color is so beautiful y'all Oh my gosh, and I just got this. I purchased this last year um, when I went to retreat in uh, Central Texas. Anywho, so from my stash, I also found these in my color bin. I have these from Jot, so I'm sure I got them at the Dollar Tree. Anywho, they're paper uh, ribbon or paper bows, paper flowers, and then these are more dimensional, but they they're they're soft enough paper that you can really maybe spray them with a little bit of water and mash them down really really hard so I'm probably going to do that and I might take some of these layers away on these flowers and just put them straight on um, I don't need quite that much dimension in my scrapbooks and these you know they're paper they'll flatten out and they do have a couple of pieces of foam adhesive I might take off the bottom one or something you know it's just dependent so I have these from my orange color family or color drawer and how fun is that? I want to put that where you can see it. And then I brought in the flatback pearls and the bitty blings. This is an amber color, but I felt like with the rose gold in here, it wasn't straight on. And with all the peachy orangey elements in it, these would go pretty well. They look orange next to these peachy orangey papers. So I have those and I found this washi tape. This one is actually from Felicity Jane. It's from the Emma collection from uh, July of 2022. I think this one, the green one with the uh, triangles that look like trees, I think this one is from Stampin' Up, if I'm not mistaken, either there or close to my heart. And I don't know who the other two rolls are from. Oh, I take it back. The green uh, with the diagonal stripe, this is from Freckled Fawn from 2016. So let's hope that still works. Um, 
I've gone through relatively recently, within the last six months, all of my washi tapes and pulled out a bunch that uh, had lost their sticky or had got goopy. Um, next, I went to my yellow color drawer because of all of these beautiful pops of a mustardy yellow all through these through this paper line and so first off I found some Heidi Swap color shine in gold yes an original bottle y'all know I'm not I'm not a big one for mixed media so um I haven't used much of this. It still works. I tested it out, so I'm going to pull it in. Uh, this set of Nouveau Drops, I think I got them at the uh, last uh, American, or sorry, Great American Scrapbook Convention I went to in Arlington. It's one of those creative keepsakes conventions. Anyway, that's where I went, and I found a store in there. Um, and this one is called Pale Gold. Um, I'm looking forward to using that. And if you look at those two colors side by side, I hope y'all can tell that they, they look so good together. I pulled in some wood veneer and I threw it in this little section. Uh, there's four clocks here, three that look like maybe clock faces, wall mount, and that one looks like a little pocket watch. And then this phrase that says dream. Now the embellishment kit had several independent phrases or um, words that could be titles. So that's why I pulled in that word dream. Um, from that color bin, I pulled out a couple of pieces, not too many paper type embellishments. Anyway, there was this, it has almost a peachy color tone uh, with gold surround. Um, and I don't know, I don't remember what collection that's from, but it came from a collection, maybe close to my heart. It doesn't really pull too peach. It could be brown or whatever when you have it, or a light pink, a blush pink color. Either way, when you lay it next to these things, it pulls that orange from that ink. And so it really matches um, this background. And so I pulled that one in. I found a pale yellow tag with dots. Um, that was from a swap from years ago. Um, I think it may have been from a paper stack, but I don't think so. This may be one of the ones that was punched out for me. Um, anywho, with these yellow tones in here, it's not exact. It's not a complete match, but it works. And then I found this. I don't even know that you can tell it. Maybe if I lay it right there. Uh, it's a bingo board that has shine at the top. That was from, uh, someone had offered up a freebie, um, to print out I think maybe seven or eight different colors um, and yellow was one of them I think I printed out a different sheet from each color um, and when I did that I ended up with yellow on that bingo board I uh, also had put some of these bows together with the stamp that I have. I think it's from Stampin' Up. Anyway, these were practice bows, but they were too cute to throw away. So they ended up in my, um, my leftovers bin, if you will, inside my color drawer. And so, yeah, I'm going to see if I can use those. I pulled in some bling. I pulled in these from Eyelet Outlet. Um... And that's all it says on there is Eyelet Outlet. They're like in a yellow tone, goldy color. Uh, these are dew drops. These are from Want to Scrap, and I've used these this year um, on a maybe one or two different kits. But anyway, these are what I have, so I pulled both sets of those in. And then I found these little flat back pearls. These are Want to Scrap, and they have more of a pinky, um, peachy, pinky, uh, color tone, but again, when I laid them here next to the background, background papers, I thought it worked perfect, so I pulled those. And then finally, washi tape from the yellow bin. I pulled um, three different tones of yellow, but all yellow none the, nonetheless. Um, this one I picked up recently, I think at a table where I was at a retreat. Uh, this is from Felicity Jane from December of 2022, and this one is Felicity Jane from May of 2016. And I've told y'all before, this is my favorite color of washi tape in yellow, and I'm nearly out of that. I'm nearly out of this one, but that's okay because I found this, and so this will work in place of this, and I, I think this is my third roll. <laughs> 
kid you not, I think this is my third roll of this one. Um, but yeah, I, that's not available to get anymore. Um, yeah, so I moved on. I found this one at that swap table, and to me, it had a really close feel. Uh, but when I look at it close up, it's really not. So I'll keep looking. Um, and I got this one from Felicity Jane when they were going out of business. I think I bought three or four rolls of this one. Because, again, love that tone. So there's everything from my color bins that I pulled in. Then I thought, well, you know, that's just not enough. Because, yeah, you know how I am. So I had to go dig some more. I thought I needed a couple of alphabets. And the collection had two different ones. The one in the collection, I almost thought it had two separate alphabets. Because one of the pieces of paper had a, a big graphic alphabet on it. And because of that dark tone of that piece of paper, I thought, well, I want to add a dark alphabet to mine. So I pulled in this one from Remarks. Uh, it is called Jewelry Box. And there's multiple sheets here. These are thin letter stickers, but that's okay. I don't need them to be ultra thick. So I pulled those in to use. And I also, uh, they had a cursive looking font. And I don't know what company, maybe Pink Fresh. I can't really tell. I didn't blow the picture up just now. But I pulled these in that I have from American Craft. Uh, crafts called Sunlight. And these have a cursive E. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm stretching it a little bit. They have a cursive E fill. So uh, I pulled these in. I have two packs of them. I've had them for a long time and have, haven't had a reason to use them. But they're I like the chunkiness of this dark one and then the uh, wispiness of this one uh, to use with this paper. And I also pulled this one in because it has a fun font to it. It's the Thickers uh, Iguana um, from American Crafts. And you can see I've used this one several times. I think I've even chopped up letters to work in different layouts. I received an embellishment kit from Freckled Fawn. And one of the extra things that I ordered uh, was a little package of stamps. And they have all sorts of uh, different images on them. So I pulled out some of the stickers that came in that little box. There were like 30 or 60 or some crazy number of these little sticker stamps. And so I pulled in a bunch. Uh, I didn't want to pull in all of them. I just wanted to limit myself here. Um, because of the words in the... Um, inspiration kit. I did find this happiness word. It's acrylic from Ellie Studio. So I brought that in. I'm sorry y'all. It's white on white. That makes it hard to see. Um, I also went looking in my uh, sticker bins and I found some stickers I want to try and get used up. This one is a close to my heart sticker sheet and that's about all I have right there. Um, the in, uh, the introduction sheet is stuck in the middle there, but these are the only stickers that I have left with this. There's an acorn, a Thanksgiving, um, some bits and pieces here. Oh, and a little border piece. And then on this side, a piece of a border piece, a big flower. The word family is the best place to be and so. And if I hold it down there, you can see some of those colors match. So I went ahead and pulled that to try and get used up. And then I found these seven gypsies... Um, Word phrases. Do you remember the big sheets that came like that? Well, these are a conglomeration of sheets that I have previously used up, and I just moved the other ones onto a sticker sheet. Uh, moved them forward, and I have tons of these, y'all. So I have no earthly idea what collections these are from. Anyway, they're leftovers. They're going in here because the colors matched. I found this set of embellishments from Peachy Studio. Um, or sorry, Cheeky Studio, um, and I had several pieces to go with this collection, but this is all that I have left, and there may be maybe 15 or 20 little stickers in there, or uh, cardstock embellishments um, in there that could possibly be used in here. I'm not 100% certain about those just yet. And then I found... Uh, this Amy Tangerine Thicker set called Lucky, and I have just some chipboard colored... Um, craft colored uh, chipboard pieces um, with bits and pieces of titles. So I thought maybe I could use that. And then finally, finally, uh, from one of my embellishment drawers, I found this um, Heidi Swap Little Moments. And these are different shape stickers with phrases or just colors or patterns or anything or whatever on it. And it matches this really well. So I went ahead and pulled that. 
So that I think is everything. Um, I have a room full of stuff guys and you know at any moment I might have something out working on something different and pull something in from that kit. It's been known to happen once or ten times. Um, so, anywho, um, we'll see where I go with this. I'm going to try my hardest to get the <laughs> seven layouts done at the end of the month. I let you guys down in April. I just had too much on my plate. May's not going to be much better, June or July either, but I'm going to do my best. If I get a video up, I'm going to get one up, guys, and that's just... I, I can't do any more than that because this is my hobby. It's not my job. And that kind of job and family come, well, family and job come first in my life. So I, I have to move forward and do what I can. Anywho, guys, uh, yeah, I hope you'll stick around and I hope you'll come back and see if I get to work on this kit this month. Anyway, guys, I will see you on the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>